Hi Leo, how's it going? Happy birthday to all of you. I hope you're doing well. Welcome to my channel, Universal Intuition. My name is Jacqueline. Thank you all so, so much for being here. Today's video is gonna be your mid-August 2019 general reading, again for Leo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, also, we'll be doing, as we always do, the extended version of this reading. It's your love story, your love reading. Um, it's really the energy of where we look at your partner, your soulmate, the other person you're dealing with, how they're feeling about you, what's y'all's mutual energy and mutual connection, and then where is that connection going? Where is your relationship going? So we'll also look at potential outcome. The link for that reading is in the description box below. Also in the description box is my business email if you're looking for a personal personal reading. Also, my Instagram is there. I would love for you all to come follow me and say hello. All right, Leo, I'm going to be going in with the uh, cosmic tarot today for your reading. And then for the love reading on the other one, I'll be using the uh, crystal vision. I know y'all like both of them, especially the crystal vision. So we'll do that in the love reading. All right, but this portion is all about you, Leo about your life, what's happening with you, your current energy um, for mid-August, what's coming towards you for mid-August, what is something that Leo can release and not worry about anymore. Ooh, judgment came out. Okay. What is something that um, also you're wishing and hoping for? for the second half of August and anything else we need to know for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is mid-August 2019. All right. Beautiful. Bottom of the deck, Leo, is a part of your theme. You have the Princess of Cups, which would be the Page of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Some of y'all are definitely dealing with that. Some of y'all live with the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Could be a child or a parent-child connection here. But this is very beautiful. This is overall your energy um, for the month or as a part of your theme. You're feeling very flirty. You're wanting to put yourself out there. You're a little bit mysterious. People are questioning what's going on with you. What's up with Leo? Are they single? Are they... Are they, are they with someone? People are very, very curious about you. I think that also, Leo, you're wanting something with a commitment. I'm seeing her, there's a wedding ring on her finger. So a lot of you are wanting a commitment from someone or putting your energy into some type of commitment, okay? Beautiful. So let's look at your current energy. Spirit, what is the current energy of Leo? <clears throat> We had a flipper. Beautiful High Priestess as your first card out, Leo. Wow. Um, so your intuition is trying to tell you something. Um, your intuition is on point. We are in your season right now. Nine of Cups also came out. So your intuition is guiding you towards something you really, really want. So pay attention to that, to how you're feeling. Pay attention to those gut reactions when you're around certain people or in certain situations, especially for whatever it is that you're really wanting and wishing and hoping for for the second half of this month a lot of y'all are really wishing for um you know maybe a love connection here um but the nine of cups is also where you're doing the good hard work of filling your own cup being comfortable in your own skin and that takes work okay so positive self-talk um loving on yourself in a positive way um not seeing um you know the negatives seeing the positives in yourself when you talk to yourself in the mirror or look at yourself in the mirror um just really really vibing on yourself which is you know easy for a leo to do y'all are naturally just very confident and radiant and all about love and all about um just creativity and passion um so i really feel a very strong vibe with that um and your intuition is guiding you towards this whatever it is that you're wishing and hoping for Beautiful. Let's look at what's coming towards you. So again, really, really paying attention to how you naturally feel around someone or in a situation. You know, let that be your guiding light. Let your intuition kind of take over in these next couple of days and next couple of weeks. Okay? It really will, I think, surprise you. 
okay? We also have the Four of Swords in reverse. So some of y'all have been really, really putting in the hard work mentally and spiritually um, and praying and praying and praying over something. And the, it's done. Whatever it is that you're praying for or wishing for, hoping for, um, it's coming in. It's coming to fruition because the Four of Swords is in reverse. There's no need to continue to pray or ask source for it, ask divine spirit because it's coming in woo king of wands beautiful aries leo sagittarius energy with the three of wands um this is about union you're looking for your uh for your partner for your soulmate the king of wands could be someone that is coming towards you um another air sign a fellow uh, a fellow leo aries or sagittarius could be male or female it doesn't have to be the male just because the king is here but it's the masculine energy pulling through i think that overall you're gaining a lot of confidence you feel again I'm hearing comfortable in your skin. You're, feel, you're feeling very confident and courageous to go towards something. So confident that it's like, I'm just going to sit here and let my gifts, let my blessings come to me. Confidence, confidence, confidence. Get it, Leo. All right, we also have the Queen of Pentacles. She came up in reverse. Some of y'all are dealing with an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um... Some of you are distancing yourselves, Leo, from maybe someone, a mom and dad figure, um, or someone who is just usually very nurturing, but they're a little bit off right now. And I feel like you're pulling your energy away from that type of person right now. Um, it could be a sibling or a family member. I don't really feel partner could be for some of you, but I feel like you're distancing yourself from a certain family member or co-worker that's just been a little excessive recently, okay? And you're all about the fun, and they're not. <laughs> you're like, no. All right. What else is coming towards Leo? What's coming towards Leo? What is coming to them? Mid-August 2019. Three of Cups, what are we celebrating? I mean, your birthday, duh. Ooh, Leo. And Three of Pentacles, which I love, which is about teamwork. What is coming towards you? I see options. I see romance. I see celebrations, going out with friends, family members, celebrating a possible new love for some of you, or some of you are already in this lover's connection, could be dealing with a Gemini um, or a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But overall, this is beautiful energy. Your intuition is guiding you right towards being in the right place at the right time. Being at the right place at the right time. Timing, I'm hearing timing is everything for some reason. Okay, so Three of Pentacles, this could be someone that you met from work and y'all go out and have fun and then it's turning into a little bit more than fun for some of you. Overall, you know, what's coming towards you is just a really good time. New connections, new friends. Um, somewhat, someone's going to be extra significant. Uh, bluebirds or white doves are going to have some major significance to some of y'all um, here in the next couple of weeks. Balance is extremely important, um, especially in a connection with friends or a partner or soulmate with you. Um, making sure that the energies are balanced. I'm really looking at that yin and yang energy. Uh, there's a yin and yang sing symbol in the lover's card. Um, so some of y'all are looking for a divine connection with someone where you do feel like it's an even playing field you feel like whatever i put out is what i get back in return okay so beautiful 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 lots of love people wanting to love on you wishes coming in um beautiful let's see what it is exactly you're wishing for it's right there what are you Beautiful, 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 beautiful. What you're looking for is more love, okay? And this can go in so many different ways, Leo. This is all, for, the Ace of Cups starts with the self. It starts with self-love, okay? Which is what y'all have already been doing really, really 
uh, well at and some of y'all are looking for more okay I feel good again in my own skin I'm feeling confident looking good it's my birthday season everyone's trying to holler at me everyone's looking at me you are definitely being looked at okay and you've been processing all of that and now people are literally coming out of the woodwork maybe wanting to take you out for your birthday or celebrate you or just reconnect in whatever way possible and one of these people in a friend or a family or in a co-worker situation is extra significant and it's like they're being um I'm heard I, I'm hearing y'all are leveling up a notch especially with the ace of cups coming up after that so wishing and wanting more love and it is being granted to you Woo! beautiful let's look at something that you can release and let go of something you don't need to worry about any longer Spirit, what does Leo need to release and let go of, please? <laughs> Two of Cups, because you already have it. I, I don't know why I felt like I knew that was... And this just happened for... That was in the same... No, I was saying this just happened to Pisces, but that's what they were wishing for. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Pisces. Um, but overall, what you need to let go of is worrying about this union because it's already here and y'all again y'all might just be at a friendship level but it's gonna progress it's gonna be more here in no time it's like y'all are going from friends from getting to know each other getting on that soulmate energy and to boom i want more i want the spiritual connection too with the lover's card boom go celebrate that love i mean this is beautiful it's like love 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 celebrating love <laughs> What do you not need to worry about anymore? Love. Why? Because it's already here. <laughs> Beautiful. Let's see what else we have for Leo. Beautiful. I was, I was hearing unexpected, something unexpected to happen. Seven of Swords in reverse. And this is under that Queen of Pentacles in reverse. They have the Five of Pentacles too. So this is a friend, a family member, a coworker. This is someone else. Again, I'm not feeling really a partner or romantic vibe here. But there is a Queen of Pentacles. Um, could be male or female. Someone, a boss figure, a family member. I really feel like it's like a... A brother sister I really feel sibling vibes for a lot of you anyways that are they've been maybe avoiding a couple things in your life they might have been avoiding you but not you because of you they they've just been avoiding other family members this person has just maybe been having a hard time maybe doing some shady things not being fully honest with their friends and family members and you Leo about what's going on in their life but that's turning around they're wanting to improve that um, that connection and improve that part of themselves. They also could have been going through a difficult financial um, little hiccup here recently and some people get very insecure about that and they'll completely retract um, and like not go out or they'll kind of disappear for a while. And they might say, and they, with the seven of swords, they might be lying of why it's like you invited this person out a couple times this month, or maybe we'll try to, Hey, I'm going out to celebrate. We're going out for dinner. We're going out for drinks. We're going to go, whatever, go on a little trip. We're going to go do something. You keep inviting this queen of pentacles and they keep just kind of like, no, I can't No, I won't. No, no, no. And they keep saying maybe different reasons why, Oh, I've got someone in town or I've got to work or I've got something else going on. And that might not be the case. It's just a little white lie because I think they've just been struggling financially. That's like a total side message for some of y'all here. So if you haven't heard from someone that you've been wanting to hear from, someone that's usually, you know, earth energy or very stable, they're very consistent and very grounded, very chill in your life. If you, they've been a little bit wishy-washy, I bet you for most of them, it's a financial thing. They've been fighting or dealing with a, uh, a financial loss, but they are picking back up and things are coming back around for, uh, for them, for that person. So that, that'll be good to hear for them. All right, let's see anything else we have for Leo. All right, we have uh, more people showing up. We have the King of Swords with the Nine of Wands in reverse. King of Swords, some of y'all are dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And with the Nine of Wands, this person has been very difficult to get to. This is someone else coming in that you're dealing with. Um, it could be male or female. Okay, but this person has been on your mind, Eight of Swords, and you've been on their mind. Y'all been thinking about each other. 
Um, and with the Nine of Wands, I don't know why I'm picking this up for some of you. This is someone in spirit. This is someone that you've lost um, and they're in the spirit form, but y'all are, you still think about them all, all the time. And there is, let's keep going with this. What else is going on here? What else is going on with this King of Swords that Leo needs to know about? Who is this King of Swords to, to Leo? Ooh, Ten of Swords. Yeah, there's been an ending here. This is someone from your past that either y'all were together and you broke it, broke it off. And again, for another group of you, this is someone who is, this is someone who's passed away. That's way too many cards. This is someone that you have a lot of past life history with. Is what I'm picking up here as well. Um, but there is an ending here with this King of Swords. So this person, again, has either passed away and they're physically not here, but they're spiritually here and you need to know that. Um, and for some of you, you've completely just had enough with this person with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone who's just very analytical, very, um, I'm gonna go ahead and say over opinionated. I hope I'm not offending anyone by that. But this particular King of Swords is coming off a little bit hot headed, a little bit like they use their intellect to kind of bully people around that's kind of coming through and leo you've had enough and you're saying you're calling it quits with that person okay let's look at potential outcome for leo potential outcome for leo please potential outcome for leo nine of swords what are we overthinking about we're not getting sleep about something it's about because it's hitting the two of cups and that king of wands. A lot of y'all are having a hard time going to sleep. You just have your mind racing about this new love that's in your life. It's like you're so excited about it. Too many cards. Any final messages for Leo? Any final messages for Leo? I think I saw a yes. Ending it with a beautiful ten of pentacles your everything card. You've got the two of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. You're juggling a lot right now, Leo. You have your career. You've got your family. You've got your love. You're, de you're dealing with someone who um, you've maybe had to cut out or separate yourself from. You have a lot on your plate. A lot of you have a new love coming in. There's a family member or a friend that's been going through a hard time, maybe financially, and they've not been very open with you about it, but they are coming, they're coming out of it, and I love in their role they got the ten of pentacles so again it could be a family member getting some kind of family help with the ten of pentacles leo you might be chipping in and saying hey um you know I, I don't know i heard i have a room for you some of you leo might be taking in a friend or a family member for um a, a short amount of time to give them a home or give them resources you know a home a room um something like that to kind of help give someone else a boost you're very naturally very generous with your time and whatever it is that you have and you definitely are helping someone who needs it this month which is beautiful love is on point new love is very strong your intuition is on point you're comfortable and looking real good in your own skin you're very determined about what you want and you're cutting uh you're cutting ties with a certain person or a certain situation that was just um it was too much mentally like it was stressing you out too much so you've called it quits there but at the end of the day you've got it all leo beautiful beautiful all right i'm gonna leave it there i hope you enjoyed your reading we're gonna jump into the love reading and take a little bit of a deeper look at what's going on here in your love life so if you're interested the link for that is in the description box below leo if this is where we part i love y'all so 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 much thank you for your continued support likes shares subscribes donations all of that stuff thank Thank you happy birthday again to all of you leos i love you so much i'll see y'all soon